Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Fading Hearts. I am here with the indomitable Laura. Hi guys! And the even indomitable Laura, <laughs> April. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hello. Okay, in the last episode we ended up in the cosplay cafe. And look, I've got to ask a question, okay? This, this maid here... Mm -hmm. um, she's just appearing more and more often, so I'm thinking that perhaps this is one of the characters that I should start putting on the uh, the front screen, yeah, the thumbnail of these videos when she appears. So let me know what you think, guys. Would you like to see her or not? Everybody wants to see her. I think she's oh, super yes. cute. <laughs> yes. She's probably the cutest out of the three, I think. She is, actually. I think yeah. you're right. Mm -hmm. Then again, my... my, my my opinions on redheads are, are well known. <laughs> yeah, you don't like me anymore. Now I'm not a redhead. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it, 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 it was great for a while, but the magic's just gone. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, right. So, um, what I want to do, I want to pop into the shop and pick up a few books. <laughs> It might actually help if I knew which ones we had, but... Um... Surely it won't allow you to buy the same thing again. I doubt it will, to be totally honest with you. Uh, I'm thinking if we print, pick up another provisional princess... Okay. And... Oh, nice of them, it sorted these, wouldn't it? <laughs> no. Right, so we, we've obviously got, obviously got provisional princess 2, so we'll pick up provisional princess 3. And... Shop... What else should we have? Should we have a we Royal have, Guard's Life? I think we have a Royal Guard's Life 1. I don't know if we have 2. No, we haven't bought that one yet. So, let's grab hold of this one, okay? Oh, is that one? That's one, yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. We should find out what a Royal Guard's Life is like. <laughs> Interestingly, we buy them in this, this shop, but we can't read them until we get home. <laughs> so... Oh, since you since I don't since I don't have space in my backpack, it'll be sent home by same hour delivery. Same huh. hour. Same hour delivery. Yes. Some so is the other one in your yeah. backpack? The technology. Um. Yeah, I've got three in the backpack. Provisional Princess Volume One. There, we've read it. I suppose we could read Weightlifting for Idiots or Advanced Programming. <laughs> but we need to get a bigger bag, really, don't we? Yes. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So, should we hang out for a bit? And then we'll move on, alright? Alrighty. I decide to hang out here for a while. Then they ask me to do my trousers back. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Ryu, what do you think about Mystica? Is that the right voice know, for her? I... No. It, it no. Work just for, uh, no, that's, that's, not, that's Rina. That's Rina. It, you're, it, it's like a less childish version of Rina. Mm -hmm. Say, Ryu, what do you think about Mystica? I don't know, but I like your Rena impersonation. <laughs> Why did you do it some more? I don't know, I've never mysticated. <laughs> hmm. Well, I know at least I am capable of using magic. It's pretty safe to assume that I'm not the only one. And those shadows are definitely not figments of my imagination. Personally, I think it's all true. There's definitely something out there in those woods. And she's a girl with special powers. Maybe, like a mutant or something. Of course, if that were really the case, it would mean I am one too. But on the other hand... Hmm, yes, the X-Men. <laughs> I'm just going to America to enrol in a public school, don't mind me. <laughs> it's, it's only then that two of us notice Alex has entered the cafe. Welcome back, Master. Oh, that's that. Right. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to that. So, I heard you guys discussing Mystica. Uh, he's just come in, so he, he obviously was just standing outside the window, list, pressed up against it, listening to our conversations. Wearing his pyjamas. <laughs> Wearing his pyjamas, indeed, yes. As Sydney serenades him in the background. Hello, Sydney. <laughs> she seems like a prime candidate for a magical girl here, but she'd need an appropriate romantic interest first. How do you think she'd fall in love? Look at the finger. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? His hand oh. looks so big compared to his body. <laughs> I know. Size his face. <laughs> ah, that's a good question. No, what am I doing? <laughs> that's a problem <laughs> issue. 
<laughs> nah, that's a very good question. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I think I have a bit of a cold. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah, that's a good question. What was I forgot what the question was. <laughs> Who's the woman? <laughs> I think it would be someone she rescues. He'd be really clumsy and kind, and eventually they'll fall in love. Alright, Ryo. So how do you think Mystica will find her one true love? <laughs> how should I know? <laughs> Don't worry. It's just for fun. I want to hear a fresh perspective on why my voice keeps changing all the time. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, I know the feeling it happens to me too. <laughs> I think they'll have something else in common at first, <laughs> but then she will fall in love with him. <laughs> he can't accept her feelings at first because he doesn't understand her. But the love will reach him in the end. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the prince's tale. So Alex, what do you think? Well, let's see. Mystica is in a situation that demands a lot from her physically and emotionally. She has a lot of responsibilities and the consequences of failure are extreme. Someone who can support her would be an absolute requirement in the relationship. Otherwise, the stress will overwhelm her. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, 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 ah, I see. <laughs> I figured he'd have a good analysis of the subject. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully she has friends she can lean on. Otherwise, she'll probably break down in the end. Oh, of course, because she's a fragile female. <laughs> it's our we chat for a while about the current events and the anime show's airing. You're pissed. Uh, yeah, I get very <laughs> pissed about that. It's great talking to them about things like that. And then the I feel better after resting for a bit and asking the maid to pick up things I keep on dropping. <laughs> Evening. Yes, I spent some time practicing my ma my magic, but then again, I'm a teenage boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I want to try buying something here quickly. I just want to see what a larger backpack would be like, um, cost-wise. We can't quite afford it. Um, well, we're a bit short on money for a large backpack, no, which I mean, is 80. Buy one? Um, that was in the footage that was lost. Oh. Yep, it crashed, right? Yes. We could get a medium backpack, which would hold more, or just hold out to get a large one. I think it'll hold out. Yeah, we're only 10 away. Yeah, let's check the bookshelf, put books on the shelf, get rid of the provisional princess, get rid of weightlifting. Don't pick a book. Check bookshelf, put books in bag. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, I, I would like to read a provisional princess, so I'll put a little disruptor and a royal guard in there if nobody minds, okay? Okay. And a royal guard's life in... There we go. Right. My backpack is full. <laughs> okay, so... We can't call anyone. And we're a little bit short of money, so if nobody minds, I think we will we'll do a bit of work today. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Clear Sky Bank. Haha! <laughs> Social media! We've done, done any of that yet. Um, I'm going to get this one to level one. Haha! -ha! Social media! Haha! -ha! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> where do you work? I work for. Haha! -ha! Social media! <laughs> Sorry, where was that again? Haha! -ha! Social media! You have to pronounce it that way every time. Absolutely. Yes, it's 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 a company edict, and they send people around to beat you around the head with a fish if you don't. <laughs> I go to bed and fall asleep, dreaming about being concussed by a haddock. <laughs> okay, I've had enough of you guys. I just saw it all morning. Now I want a nap. Right, yes. Love the teacher. Should we talk to Sophia? I don't think we talked to Sophia in a while. Should we talk to Sophia? I can try. Yeah. I feel in mind for some abuse, so I go and talk to Sophia. <laughs> Do we need something? What should we talk about? Should we talk about magic? Sure. So, Sophia, what do you think of magic? 
Hard to say. <laughs> Supposedly there's a magical girl defending the city, and apparently I'm the soulmate of somebody called Ellen. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Or in the case of Ellen, both of them. <laughs> Little does she know that that can be arranged. The magical girl, not Ellen. <laughs> but it's probably best I don't tell anyone about this. Not even Claire or Rena. Say, why are you? Would you mind talking for a bit? Let's have a chat. I heard you like anime and such. Oh, look at that face. <laughs> I heard you like anime and such. I had such high hopes for you. <laughs> yeah. What about it? Do you like magical girl manga? Yeah, I do. It's a lot more popular here than it is even in Japan. A lot of live-action magical girl shows are produced and filmed here, too. Here in pseudo-Japan. <laughs> Not Japan. Mm, really? I didn't know that. Why the sudden interest? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm Mystica, but I don't want to tell you that. <laughs> I was just thinking that there might be a lead here, there, somewhere. Actually, I needed to know a bit about more anime before I could talk to someone. Look, just go up to Alex and take your shirt off, okay? He'll be absolutely captivated. You can ask anything you want. <laughs> yes, that's the information I need. But I'll probably need to make some small talk before I can get it out of him. <laughs> I see. Well, yeah, yeah, have fun with Alex. Well, I'm hardly an expert, but I can at least tell you a few general things. Sophia and I chat about anime for a while before I head home. We both enjoyed the conversation. Well, I enjoyed it. I think she might have faked hers. <laughs> I'll be going now. Till next time. Alright, you're slipping. I'm here. You didn't say evening. Oh, I, <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> nothing. <laughs> you have been doing it for about ten episodes I'm now. Sorry. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did she die? <laughs> no, I'm here. How long have you been awake for? <laughs> Yeah. Should we should we get you regular lines just to keep you awake here? <laughs> I am fearfully awake. I love this let's play. <laughs> <laughs> I spend some time practicing my magic. Unread receiver. Yes, and we receive Provisional Princess Volume Two. We have unread mail. Be yourself and always grow. Oh yeah. Must. I tell you, I tell you what, there, Laura, you can read this one. How's that? Okay. Now for something key. Now for something completely different. <laughs> Girls like confidence in a man. They don't see guys who are desperate or depressing as dating material. Don't go overboard though. Just be yourself and show her that you're comfortable in your own skin. But keep in mind that learning and growing are things you'll do throughout your entire life. So work on becoming a better person and that girl will definitely fall for you. The player. Okay, girls, how true is that? How true would you say that is? Mm, I don't know. I mean, confidence is nice. But some some people, some ladies do like a sad sack. They do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have to remember that, won't I? <sighs> In general, not very many do like sad sacks. So no, I, would, no. I, would, I would say yes, that was true. Yes. However, telling them that she'll definitely fall for you is a little bit assumptive. <laughs> yeah, it's like, no, not definitely. <laughs> but no, confidence is very attractive. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got to bear in mind that there's being sad and there's being brooding. And, you know, I'm getting good at this brooding. I managed to make myself sparkle the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Leave inbox. <laughs> yeah, I'm not big okay. on sex. Right, um, but uh, but uh, we can read a book or go outside. What do you guys think? <laughs> so you just yeah, did you went banana. <laughs> but uh, but uh, but uh, but uh, phenomena. We're actually nuts. <laughs> it should be the nutty to you, not the naughty to you. <laughs> Right, what are we doing? Well, we can read a book or we can go outside. What do you guys think? Mm. 
They don't? Okay, alright. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Tachibana Park. Really? I've never been at Tachibana before. We can go in and fight some stuff. I want to see I that we woman's we go back. Sorry? Didn't we promise we weren't going to go back? Uh, no, that's lost footage oh, as well. Oh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be quiet for the next, like, five minutes. <laughs> I think people I... should know now that we've lost some footage. <laughs> if if you're not aware, we have lost some footage. <laughs> I don't know you can you... probably tell by that because none of us can remember what actually happened in this. It's the second time round. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know why there are all these strange shadow creatures around here, but if I don't investigate, I'll never find out. Hey, all right, explore. explore. Walk around in the forest for a while. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. And yet another one of these. Magic. Magic blast. And then back and hit him and hit him. That's all we need to do. This is so easy. Bow, bow. There we go. And we leveled up. Nice. Yeah, what we gained? We gained some attack, we gained some defense. And we gain some speed and dexterity. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Another one bites the dust. Hey! Another one bites the dust. Mm. And another one's gone. Another one's gone. Another one bites the dust. Ah! <laughs> so who wants to do this one? Laura. So why did you venture all alone into the forest? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I whip around, wishing I'd done up my trousers, into the direction of the sound, but I can't find the speaker. Who's there? Mm, if I ever reveal myself, will you promise not to come to the forest anymore? Um, don't reveal yourself. I've just done my trousers up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we promise her? Sure. Yeah, we always have our fingers crossed, can't we? Alright, I promise. I won't come to the forest anymore. Now, who are you? Alright then. Oh, it's that sort of reveal. Okay, well, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give yeah, you a six okay. out of ten. Uh, oh, Simon, that's like <laughs> super cute. She's absolutely adorable. Adorable. Yes. Adorable. She's not a cow. <laughs> From somewhere above, a girl drops to the ground before me. My, what a view. She looks like someone who got lost on her way to an anime convention. <laughs> I am the magical girl, Mystica. It is a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> well, whatever else she may be, she definitely looks the part. What's your name? Hmm. I'm Rayo. It's nice to meet you, too. So, why are you here? There are shadow monsters roaming all throughout these woods. It is my duty to destroy them before they pose a threat to civilization. Speaking of which, it is time I resume my search. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen them. Oh yeah, no. Truly? Yes, I fought them before and stopped calling me Trudy. <laughs> well, 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 aren't you the clever hero? Still, they are much too dangerous for you. No, they're not. <laughs> one magic blast and two punches and they go down. Every single one of them. <laughs> so please, return to your home and leave this to me. Without waiting for my answer, she disappears into the brush. Take care, Ryo, <coughs> and stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> if I need to contact you, you'll know I am truly the sender if the letter contains these words. Custard catfish jelly. <laughs> <laughs> May the light bring hope to all. <laughs> yeah, catfish. Cu uh, <laughs> I can't remember what I said. Custard catfish jelly. It's got a bit more of a ring to it, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> oh yes. I go to bed and fall asleep. Afternoon. Okay, so once again we can talk to Sophia, or we can go somewhere else. Should we go up to Sophia and say, "Hey, I saw a magical girl." Hey, why not? Try. 
Do you need something? <laughs> Cheek sticker. <laughs> so, tell me more about Mystica. I met her, so now I'm curious. Ryu, stop going to the forest. <laughs> there you see, she's Mystica. I'm sure of it. <laughs> On... <laughs> she wears a blonde wig to confuse people. <laughs> On top of putting your life at risk, you're causing trouble for Mystica. Really? Explain this to me. It's simple. Watching your own back is ten times harder when you have to watch someone else's too. Hmm. Oh, well I'll watch her back. Well, close. <laughs> I guess it's like a really frustrating escort mission in a game. Except, this isn't a game. And I'm that idiot NPC blithely wandering into enemy mobs. This entire city is in jeopardy right now, and you're making more work for her. Keep that in mind. I'll be going now. Till next time. Nanu nanu. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm. Hannah's bubble tea shop. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I was thinking we could go to Tachi Banner Park and really annoy Mystica. <laughs> <laughs> Mystica, I'm here. <laughs> Alright, should we read one of these books? Sure. Yep. Oh, yeah, we just about got time, I think. Uh, oh, we've read. That's annoying. It... We've read the. Uh, okay, Tells we've read now. a little disruptor, so we'll have to read a guard's life. I start reading a, a royal guard's life, volume one. The story takes place on an island floating in the sky, and the main character is a young woman named Viola. She recently graduated from a magic academy at the top of her class, and her lifelong dream is suddenly fulfilled when she's chosen to become the newest member of the Royal Guard. The new king is a handsome young man named Aris, working tirelessly, tire the, the, working tirelessly for the sake of his people. He possesses a rare gift for diplomacy and winning compromises from people who normally bitterly disagree. Well, I don't agree with that. <laughs> Viola quickly becomes to respect him immensely and vows to serve him loyally for the rest of her life. But her, uh, her admiration quickly gives way to romantic feelings. To protect him, she develops a new spell called Magic Barrier. You've learned Magic uh, Barrier th Theory. What? <laughs> So this is the best-selling A Royal Guard's Life series? I guess forbidden love is pop a popular theme these days. These days. These days. <laughs> yes, the last 3,000 of them. <laughs> yeah. Reading in an at the atmosphere of the bubble tea shop is fun. My mind starts to drift away. And Rena comes out of the woodwork. <laughs> <laughs> And the victor of the tournament of the Twilight Witch is... The Star of the Night Sky. A roar of applause erupts from the... Ch Actually, but April, you haven't spoken much. Would you like to do this? Sure. Do the narration? Yeah. <laughs> A roar of applause erupts from the Coliseum audience. They're all cheering for me and chanting my name. But this isn't anything new. I was the returning champion, and I won again this time. It's like that in a lot of tournaments. Because like, I am the best. I don't really <laughs> care about winning, though. All I care about is magic. God, she sounds because like, I'm Batman! She sounds like Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> Battle magic is always the most intense, so it's something I can pour everything into without holding back. My spells are like a mirror in all of, my thoughts and feel of all my thoughts and feelings. Yeah, I'm just hearing Twilight Sparkle in my head now. Thinking of and trying out new spells is my favorite thing in the world. It's so much fun when I surprise people. I love it when I do something different and catch them completely off guard. I love to watch other people using new spells, too. But as much as I love magic, the tournaments bore me. The challenges I face don't seem to like new magic. Of course, there are strict rules about what you can do, or can and can't do with a spell. You can't eat it for a start. <laughs> but even so, they always use the same set of spells in more or less the same patterns. It's also predictable. They listen to adults who think they know best, the best ways to do things. Or I don't know, maybe they just like doing the same things over and over. 
Come now, star of the night sky, step up and receive your prize. A year's worth of jerky. <laughs> <laughs> My head hurts. From the jerky. And I have a strange craving for jerky. <laughs> Man, I want jerky. <laughs> I spent some time practicing my magic. Okay, we are done there. We've learned barrier. Woo! Woo! Okay, and we can call someone, which we will do in the next episode. <gasps> we have unread for as well. It's all getting exciting here, isn't it? <laughs> but we still haven't moved that shirt off the bed. It's a it's a TV cover. That's what you should okay. get is your merch, Simon. If you ever decide to do merch, you should make a DVD cover with that. <laughs> well, I was I was actually thinking you're doing a, a, a line of designer straws. <laughs> if you don't know what that was, was go and watch Magical Diaries. Watch it now. Actually, um, if you guys like this, please leave a like. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. Nothing butters up my ego more than a subscribe. <laughs> and go and watch these guys because, quite frankly, they're a hell of a lot better than I am. No. Oh, no. Yes, yes, they are, they are. No. Um, you complete I, us. I, <laughs> oh, you're so we sweet. You. <laughs> yeah. Go and watch their stuff, it's brilliant. So, until the next time, thank you very much, guys, for coming along. You are welcome. And this has been Fading Hearts. I've been Simon Parsons. They've been their usual insane selves, and we're all so glad for it. Thank you, and good night. Good night.